Good morning, you guys. So, I've got a couple minutes here where I'm just drinking my coffee and waiting for my Vlogmas video for yesterday to compile. And I'm uh, going to head up here shortly and get ready to head out for church. Um, I'm working on a... Sorry, my eye is super duper itchy for some reason. I'm uh, working on weaving in the ends on the cowl while I wait for the video to compile. Um, not, not a very exciting morning. It's very quiet. Troy's still asleep. It takes me a lot longer to get ready in the morning than it takes him. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's been uh, yeah, quite relaxing and I still don't feel like I need to do anything like for the Christmas rush and I'm a little nervous that I'm forgetting something obvious and a little confused that I don't feel uh, stressed out for Christmas this year. Normally, like there's some like last minute oh my god I can't believe I forgot to dot 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 and I literally feel no stress or uh, I was really good about doing most of my shopping you know very very early on and you know picking up things over the course of the year so I kind of feel a little uh I don't know. <laughs> what do you do when you're not stressed at Christmas time? Just really didn't mean to smack my lips there. We, when we were out shopping, I grabbed a can of uh, Cafe Du Monde coffee just to have nice coffee, do something different for Christmas. And uh, my husband, of course, immediately broke into it and was like, yes! So I'm enjoying my uh, slightly more acidic than I normally drink coffee with chicory. Um, it's very good. Um, it's still better at the Café du Mont, but if you're not familiar with Café du Mont, that's the cafe in New Orleans on the river that sells beignets. Um, the beignets are good, but it's fried dough with powdered sugar. How are you going to go wrong with that? Um, their coffee, though, uh, it, it's really good. It's really good coffee. It's a medium blend, but it's got... Um, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like the coffee's creamy on its own, and it, they use chicory in it, so it's it's not just a standard cup of coffee. It's a little, um, well, Martha Stewart called putting chicory in your coffee a good thing. So it is a good thing. Um... I've still got a lot of pickup and cleaning to do. I haven't vacuumed this week because I've just kind of been letting myself come down from the party and uh, the hustle and bustle and running around from that. Also, we had a whole, when it rains here, we track things in and out the doors constantly. So it kind of feels like, what's the point? But we are going to have, the next three days are going to be sunny. My husband got everything blown off and clean yesterday. So I need to uh, start vacuuming and dusting, just doing my normal cleaning. He's going to be home almost all week, so I'm going to have to clean while he's here regardless. So Normally I try to not do any big activities while he's here, but uh, he's going to be home for a week. I can't really postpone too far. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Say goodbye for now, but uh, I will check back in with you as our day goes on. 
Hey guys, so I'm kind of glad I decided to try this on before I, oh, welcome to my study. That is Bones the Dog, a poinsettia in my bat lip. Uh, <laughs> so I'm really glad I decided to try this on before I put on the ribbing because as you can tell, it is plenty tall enough. So I think we're going to leave it here. It's done. We're going to call it done. So um, when I do the final review, I will link the original Arctic Gym hat pattern. And then I will have a link to my project page for the cowl explaining what I did to convert it from the hat pattern to the cowl pattern. But, I mean, it's super luscious feeling. It feels, sorry, I've got clips in my hair, so it's catching on the hat. But it's super luscious and snuggly feeling. The yarn is very satiny, so it's very comfortable up around my head and face. It doesn't feel... uh stuffy itchy or anything else um as many of you know nylon and merino play very well together um so i guess i'll go ahead and cast on for the cowl to go with the knitted hat and see how i feel about that but always love a good finished object and that's a lot of colors for a finished object so yeah I will check in with you guys in a little while. Hey guys, just another quick check in. Um, I cast on for the cowl to match the knitted hat that I did. Ooh, my hands all shaky. Um, it's about five thirty now. I'm going to stop and go ahead and do the chores I need to do. I have a really need to vacuum. You can see the cat hairs even on my desk. Um, I've kind of taken it easy since uh, the party and didn't really do a whole lot. So. Arizona's a year shift to come up here. <laughs> my husband's complaining the cats want to do nothing but love on him today. Since we got home from church, literally, they've been on him nonstop. So I'm going to go get the vacuum cleaner and at least get the cat fur off the floor before people start showing up. So I will catch you guys later this evening. Hey, guys, just another quick check-in. Um, we're getting ready to head out to... A friend of ours drop in um, so I don't know if I'll remember to film a proper sign off tonight or not so I did want to jump in here and uh, let you see the progress I'm making on this like I said I'm doing um, 12 rows before I change the color so whereas it's every bobble in the hat it's gonna be every other bobble will change um, so, yeah. Um, the first set that I wound, I've had no ball or no knots. So, it was just the first two colors of the three packs. So, once again, I maintain inconsistency seems to be the killer of this yarn. Um, because the two that I used to do the, cat, the crocheted cowl, I had no issues with those. I had no issues. Um, I told y'all the other day that this felt maybe kind of splitty for the first two rows. I had no issues with that this time. So, I mean, all in all, I still have, you know, there's pros and cons, but I really like the feel of the fabric. But I do have, uh, when I do my review, I'll tell you what I think they should have done with this release. And if they want to keep this line whether they keep with the collaboration of Pantone or not, what I think they ought to do to make this yarn sell and make it something people actually want to buy. So, 
I have to do my makeup tomorrow and on Tuesday. I'm not sure which day I'm going to sit down and do the review, but I would at least like to have this finished for the review or be, you know, working the very end of it by then. That will mean I, I've used six skeins of it, so I'll, I'll definitely have a good idea, six skeins in two color ways of how I feel about it. So I will check in with you guys later. I hope you have a great night.